for the past five years. Um, we're very proud to have been part of the Startup Genome uh, Report for the first time this year. Uh, and we're extremely proud to be ranked number one in the activation phase um, uh, of the report. That said, the exercise itself, um, you know, working with Startup Genome, and it was a super helpful exercise. I'd almost say that the exercise was actually more um, useful to us than the ranking itself, because it really highlighted some of the gaps in the areas that we needed to focus on. Um, so what we realized through that exercise is that though we were doing a great job at the earlier stage, which as you mentioned, Arnovia, the attraction and the awareness around entrepreneurship and really helping those early stage ventures, um, I think we weren't doing enough to uh, help those ventures retain a significant presence in Sharjah. And so that's one of the things that we're working on at the moment through the Access Sharjah program is making sure that these startups that we're creating continue to retain a uh, presence in Sharjah. And moreover, um, you know, the UAE is a, is a relatively small country. And so if we were to rely solely on the deal flow in the UAE, it's fairly limited. Um, and what, uh, what the Startup Genome uh, Report has really helped us do is to establish ourselves as a regional hub. Um, and so what, in fact, just today I had a call with a great well-known Series A uh, startup out of Egypt that's now looking to move to the UAE. They had seen the uh, press around the uh, Sharjah's ranking in the Startup Genome Report and had reached out to see how we could support them set up in Sharjah. So it's starting, although it's only been a few weeks, it's already starting to pay off and we're starting to realize that, you know what, we need to be focusing on the wider MENA region, on Africa, and really providing a, a value proposition for these regional startups to move to Sharjah. And, you know, part of that exercise is really, as you said, Arnobia, building the story around Sharjah, building um, the right narrative around it. How is it different to, uh, obviously, at the end of the day, the UAE is one country and what's good for Dubai is good for Abu Dhabi is good for Sharjah. But, you know, you do want your own a unique value proposition. And that's one of the things that the report has really helped us do. And that's, I think, our next step now is figuring out, you know, you said specialization is key. Um, and I think that's what's going to be our focus for the coming years. That's fantastic. And, you know, what I think what's... Um, you know, we're excited to have you join us today, Najla, and it's exciting to hear, you know, that even just two weeks after the report was launched, you're already seeing results. And it was, you know, the first time we, we worked together on it. How, you know, we talk a lot about global attraction, and then you brought this super important point, right, of like national differentiation, regional differentiation. Exactly. How has the, how has the report and the work we've been doing together helped you with that? Um, it's helped us in various ways. I think so on a local level, you know, no ecosystem is built alone. We're not. Go I, I can't take uh, credit for Sharjah being on that ranking as the Sharjah Entrepreneurship Center alone. Uh, we've ha we had several um, stakeholders who are part of that journey, whether it's the universities. We actually have two hubs based in the leading universities. We've got, you know, as I mentioned on the previous slide, if you see over here, our, our founding partners are all very well-known uh, corporates uh, in Sharjah. Um, and then obviously we have the policymakers who are working with us as well. Uh, I think the report, one of the things that the report did is sort of just um, uh, catalyzed it a little bit. So, you know, entrepreneurship or let's say ecosystem building, it's a long and tedious journey. It doesn't happen overnight and you don't always see the wins. Um, and I think what this gave us is just a very visible win. And it really helped uh, the stakeholders want to get on board and to see what we could do to further, um, you know, that, uh, that kind of get to that next milestone. So on a local level, that, um, uh, that stakeholder catalyzation was really great. So all of the stakeholders were getting in touch and saying, okay, what else can we do? How can we take this to the next level? Suddenly everybody wants to get involved. Um, and that's, that was you know, one really helpful aspect of the, uh, of the report. Um, I think on a, on a global level, there's no, no doubt about it when you're listed among, I think you said 140 other cities or 140 other ecosystems, there's absolutely a level of uh, you know, credibility that comes from being in, independently reviewed um, and uh, considered one of the top ecosystems. Uh, we've, we have good uh, global relationships in any case, but I think this is just one of those, it's another feather in our cap and it really enhanced our reputation both regionally and globally.